Okay guys, so in this video, I basically wanted to create a video getting us basically prepped mentally for building our businesses in 2021. Hopefully it's a video you can come back to throughout the year to just remind you that no matter how difficult things get with building your business, because inevitably there will be hard times, there always is when you're going after goals and trying to build and create things. But hopefully this will also remind you that it's so worth pushing through that and it's so worth maintaining your long-term goals and what you're going for in the long run because honestly from someone who is on the other side of a number of goals that I set myself I can truly say I am so thankful to that person past me for helping me get here now and I know that this me now that the person in the future will be thankful for her as long as I keep pushing forward with the things I want so the first thing I want to really talk about in this video is I hope all of you are hopefully back, starting to work on your businesses when you can, starting to put your time and effort into your your Etsy shop when you get the opportunity to. I think that's absolutely amazing if you are. There will be lots and lots of people out there who kind of maybe opened an Etsy shop last year or kind of had the thought of dabbling in one and who have probably given up by now. Um, so that's not to put anybody down, but that's to say, well done if you are continuing to push forward with your goals. That is such a huge feat and I cannot wait to help you this year with building your own business and growing and scaling that however you want to over time. The second thing I want to say is get prepared to have some difficult days and some hard times and some times when you just feel like none of it is going your way. You know, the, the platform's playing up, you've lost a load of products that you've just created, nothing seems to be selling, your SEO doesn't feel like it's working, you're not moving fast enough, you're feeling overwhelmed, life gets in the way, all of those things are 100% going to happen throughout the year to all of us, including myself and probably multi-millionaires out there as well. That is the nature of businesses. They are tricky and I have created a video which I'll link in the description to this video as well about the fact that it is so important to remember that your business builds as you build. The great thing about that is it means as you continue to grow, your business will continue to grow. But one of the downsides to that means that you will inevitably come up against things in your business that you do not know enough about or you haven't built the skill yet to be able to tackle and get over. And so then you have to spend time learning those skills, figuring things out, trying and experimenting to see what works and eventually you get over that hurdle but we are all gonna have those i kind of class them as hitting walls with things or just getting overwhelmed with things that are coming up against you with building your business but i wanted to say that like just be aware that that is going to happen breathe into it it's totally normal it's normal for you to feel like your business is running slower than everybody else or you're not achieving your goals as fast as you want or that you haven't got enough time all of these things but just remember it's about continuing to move forward working at those problems until eventually you get over that hurdle and over the other side of that hurdle is a you that is not only obviously got a business that's continuing to grow and build but a you who now knows how to solve those problems again and again and again so a much more kind of knowledgeable skilled you in terms of building your business so yeah that's something really important to remember and also i want you guys to remember that i am always here in the facebook group if you ever have any questions if you feel like you're hitting a hurdle that you just can't get past or if you're feeling overwhelmed at all I'm always here in the group obviously you've got the course as well but I'm always here because sometimes you know things crop up that perhaps the course doesn't mention or you might want to be you want might want to try things that the course doesn't mention for example things like I know quite a few of you are interested in things like drop shipping and things like that so I'm always here to help if there's things that you want to know about stuff like that or even above and beyond those things yeah that's what we're here for I'm a support system for you guys I love being a support system for you guys because I actually get to see you grow I know there's quite a few of you now that are like in your hundreds of sales some of you even more sales than me it's 
absolutely amazing what you guys are achieving and what is funny as well as I remember quite a lot of you guys being people who came into the group like I've never really stuck at anything before I've never really I don't really know what I'm doing like I don't know if I'll be able to do this and now you're absolutely full of confidence skyrocketing to do your thing and then also kind of the big point of this I wanted to mention that whether you are starting your business that you just literally got a brand new Etsy shop and you're raring to go whether you're someone that you've come here because you're looking to improve the business that you've got perhaps things aren't working you're trying to figure out why is this not working or you're someone who's been working on your business for a while you feel fairly confident i just wanted to remind you guys of the importance of around this time of year whether that is because you're beginning your business or because you've already got a business but it's the beginning of a new year how helpful it can be to take a step back from your business for a moment and evaluate or re-evaluate what goals you want to achieve with your business or may, may not even just be with your Etsy business. I know some of you now have even grown and scaled to perhaps offering physical products like drop shipping as well, or even have businesses outside of your Etsy business that are growing as well. But I think it's always so important around this time of year just to take a step back and just figure out what is your long-term goal throughout this year, throughout five years, however long you want to kind of put that long-term plan into place and I think that that's so important because and this is something and this is the reason why I decided to create this video today I am in the middle of trying to achieve a goal that I've been working on for quite a while and I got some news today that you know once again some things are not working right with it and there's some issues and I need to solve this and do that and I just was feeling so overwhelmed and almost like bottlenecked I suppose I just felt like the walls were really closing in and I just felt like I'm never going to achieve this goal I am everything is conspiring against me not to achieve this and I know that that happens with so many people and I was speaking to somebody over the phone and they literally said the words that just revved me up they basically said the words of like well you know maybe it's because you're not meant to do it or you're not meant to achieve it and for me that is like it's like a red flag to a bull if that's what it's called you know that is what I'm like because when something gets hard I never think it's because I'm not meant to achieve it I always think it's because I have got some learning curves and some things to learn before I can achieve it it is not that it is off bounds to me ever and I, I want that to be something that you guys think as well. Just because your long-term goal or something you're going towards throughout the year perhaps, maybe even not even now, but at some point starts to feel really hard to achieve and you're thinking, it's just not working, I can't do this, you know, it's just too hard for me, which happens to everybody. Please remember, it is not because you were just not meant to achieve it or it's too much for you or it's, it happens and works for other people but not you. It is not that at all. It is because you just have some learning curves to do, you have some skills to gain, you have some knowledge to learn and you have some, some growing to do in order to get to that point. And not only that, I also think as well, when you hit those points where things just feel like they're really hard and you're not getting anywhere, perhaps, you know, your Etsy, if we're looking at your Etsy shop, perhaps, you know, you've done all that, you feel like you've done so much work and you're not making sales or your SEO is just not working or no one's really paying any attention to your social media or something like that. It's so easy to think, well, it's just not meant to work for me and I just should give up. And trust me, there are a lot, a lot of people who do give up and they let go, they give up, and then years later they come back and they want to try it again because they know that that's a goal that they want to achieve. You do not want to be that person. You want to be the person that when it gets hard to build your business, that you're able to take a step back, reevaluate what you want from this business long term, evaluate all the options that you truly have because when you feel like bottlenecked and like everything is just coming at you, it's easy to feel like I have no option but to just give up or I have no option but to just cave in or whatever it is when that's never usually the case. By stepping back and looking at the big picture, then usually you're able to see, actually, do you know what? Like, okay, it's not doing as well right now, but that's fine because I'm able to support myself via that. And whilst I'm doing that, I can continue to work this, continue to grow it. Or it might be, okay, those prints didn't do as well as I thought they did, but that's not the end of the world. And that's not to say that I can't 
make beautiful prints is to perhaps say I need to go back look at some research I need to see if I can come up with something else because eventually I will hit a design I will hit a product I will hit a point when it will start working for me but I need to do the work first I need to figure out what's going on first so I can push forward with my goals because like I always say it is never over until you say it's over. It's never over until you give up. There were so many times when I was building my own Etsy shop. I think one of the times I remember was like, I had like literally a couple of sales and I had been going at it for months and this was before I understood what I was doing. So this was, I literally just did the idea of like, I create a few prints I like, I whack them up, I maybe guess a bit with SEO and I just see what happens. And I just remember sitting there and staring at it and thinking, well, it's just not working and it must just not be for me. I can't make any money this way, you know? And I remember thinking to myself, well, I'm just gonna have to give up. I'm gonna have to go find something else to do. It wasn't until literally how I actually clocked to start building my business properly. I took a step back and I re-evaluated, okay, what is it I actually want this business to achieve? And how am I gonna get there? And what hurdles are in the way that I need to solve? And instead of playing, and I mentioned this in the YouTube video that I created for this, instead of playing like a defensive mode where things just fly at you and you're like, oh God, I've got to do that. And oh, I've got to do that. And oh, I messed up with that. And all oh, that's wrong. And okay, I'll do it that way. And just playing like a protective defensive game. I said this in my other video that I'm not a sports person. So I'm just really using this as a basic analogy. But it's really important to remember to play offensive i hope that's the right word but to go after the things that you want if you're noticing that your etsy shop is not building as fast as you want don't just sit there and feel defeated about it get in front of the problem what is going on run through that shop with a fine tooth comb and figure out what is not working what is my data showing me that's off is it that my traffic's fairly good so people are coming to my shop but the products don't seem to be selling the conversion rate isn't high therefore it might be that the products aren't quite right or the listings aren't describing the product properly or could it be that my seo is driving in the wrong type of target audience for my products how do i get in front of that how do i solve that or it might be, for example, that you're just not getting any traffic in. So it might be that you've got amazing products, but there's just no one finding your shop. So in that case, get in front of the problem. Right, I have pinpointed down that it's something going on with me, my shop not getting the visibility it needs. So that means I need to sit down and work on my SEO. I need to create more products to help drive my audience in. I need to start building my external traffic funnels and driving my audience myself. I need to work on those elements to start playing a more hands-on I want to say offensive I hope that's the word game when it comes to building your business and going after your goals and this is something that I realized and this is again the reason why I created this video this is something that I realized I had not been doing with this this goal that I was trying to achieve I'd started off good I'd started off really excited and revving and going for it and then things started to get a bit tricky and instead of thinking right I need to get ahead of this I need to resolve this so I can move forward I was kind of like, oh, oh no, that's a problem over there. I don't really want to look. That's a problem over there. I hope that resolves itself. And that is no way to build a business, go after your goals, achieve the things that you want in life. Sometimes you've got to stand up and sometimes you've got to get in front of the problems. You've got to figure them out and figure out your way around them. And I know that last year was an incredibly difficult time for so many people, probably almost all of us, to be honest. There are very few people who were like, it's totally fine this year i think like lots of people really struggled and so it was easy at that point to really just become defensive and just let things happen around you and not really push too hard and um, i know that at times throughout the year i definitely did that and particularly with this goal i have definitely let that happen where i've just kind of like stepped back away from it and hoped everything resolves itself because of that i've not been able to move forward and i just really woke up today and really just realized i need to get in front of the problems that are stopping me from moving forward towards my goal exactly the same as you need to get in front of the problems throughout the year that you have with your business that are stopping your business from growing and yeah i just hope that this video hopefully kind of makes sense first of all um but i hope that this is like a video that you can come back to throughout the year that will hopefully remind you when those times get 
really tough with your business and going towards the goals that you're after and hopefully this reminds you that yes it's going to be hard because it's worth going after and anything worth going after usually is hard but your future self will truly truly thank you for continuing to push forward for taking those steps back to look and see how you get around these problems and for plowing your way through those problems when they get hard and yeah i just wanted to create this video not only for you guys but also for me as well so that i can look back over this because i've definitely had moments throughout last year where I've just kind of like stepped back and just let everything happen and hoped that everything would just solve itself. And that's not how business works. That's not how goals work. That's not how, you know, you build a financial future that you really want. And so, yeah, I hope that this video helps. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you have experienced this, if you've had times where you've just kind of like stepped back and it's just all got too much and you've just thought, I, I can't deal with this and you just hoped everything resolves itself. And hopefully, definitely let me know if you have come around to that mindset of like, I need to get in front of this. I need to solve this and I need to push forward with it. This one was just something that I just hoped that at the beginning of the year, this is something you could go back to whenever you just feel like the walls are closing in and you're just not getting anywhere with your goals because we all feel that way at times. And I think it's a hugely important topic because it stops so many people from achieving the things that they want to achieve in life. So yeah, hopefully this video will help you with that. But I'm always in the Facebook group, so definitely let me know if you have any questions or anything you need any support along building your own business, you just need some guidance or some inspiration, then definitely always feel free to just reach out and just leave a message in the group and I always try and reply to everybody here and help as much as I possibly can so yeah I'll see you in the next video guys